Joker cleaned up at the Oscars with the nominations yesterday, getting 11 nominations. They announced them Monday morning, um, including like all or most of the big nominations, nominating categories. So go over all of them. And that's great. But the bad news is, is that when these nominations came out, there were a lot of people on Twitter who seemed upset. Now, I don't know if these people were like, you know, these verified blue checkmark people. I think a lot of them were like, you know, regular people who have Twitter accounts. But I was very, very surprised that um, the, um, the problems people have with Joker still exist. And that they don't seem to think that it or Todd Phillips have the right to be getting celebrated like this. But let's go into these nominations first. The positive side, the positive stuff is what the positive stuff is what we'll lead with. Now here are the eleven nominations: Best Picture, Best Director for Todd Phillips, of course; Best Actor for Joaquin Phoenix; Best Score by that lady. Oh man, Hilder. I can't say her last name, but you know who it is. <laughs> Adapted screenplay, makeup and hairstyling, cinematography, film editing, sound editing, sound mixing and costume design. And yes, Joker was a really, really phenomenal movie, I thought. Or at least, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's performance was phenomenal, which is why he was nominated for Best Actor and won the Golden Globe, um, and seems to be at this point the front runner. So it's all good, right? And I also think that the, sh the sheer amount of awards it was nominated for is surprising and impressive. But a lot of people are upset. Well, the biggest thing they're upset is that Todd Phillips was nominated for Best Director, and they feel that, you know, it was a sl they're blaming him for the reason that Greta Gerwig didn't get nominated, right? Greta Gerwig directed Little Women, um, which was a very good movie, apparently. I haven't seen Little Women, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that it's very good. And, you know, she is one of the only female directors to direct. They were actually, I think they're saying, multiple movies directed by women this year who were prestige. Prestige level, good enough to be, you know recognized but they felt that Greta Gerwig should have been nominated for best director and that it's Todd Phillips fault that she was and basically like he took her place there are five nominees Todd Phillips is one of them and they're basically saying that you know they should have like booted him out of that slot and give that fifth place to that fifth um slot to Greta Gerwig to put her in contention basically the Todd Phillips didn't deserve to get nominated which is ridiculous. I mean, I think that, yes, female directors should be recognized in the best director category. But to single out Todd Phillips as the one who didn't belong um, against all those other men who were nominated, like, why not pick one of those other guys who didn't belong to be there? You know, to say that one of those other guys took Greta Gerwig's place. You know, why is everybody picking on Todd Phillips? That's just not fair. I mean, Todd Phillips wrote and directed a movie. I think he co-wrote it, but... You know, he directed a movie, and it was his idea to make Joker. And Joker was, you know, it, it ignited a cultural conversation around the globe in multiple countries, right? Um, about issues that are being highlighted a lot these days. You know, the has versus the have-nots. And here in the United States, especially, you know, the mentally ill. And what happens when mentally ill people um, start acting out and hurting others around them, right? Those are all very timely and topical um subjects and he directed a movie that covered those things that made a billion dollars and it was the first r-rated movie to make a billion dollars it was a historical movie and that all came to came about because of todd phillips so yes he deserves to be nominated for best director he made a prestige movie that made huge money and got people talking and thinking about the world and society um so to blame him for why greta gerwig did not get nominated or another woman is terrible now, I do think, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to slam Greta Gerwig or female directors in Hollywood. I just think it's terrible that people are framing it as, you know, it's Todd Phillips' fault that Greta Gerwig didn't get that spot or a female director. Terrible. And I think a lot of people are upset about this number of nominations, but for the same reasons, right? They don't feel that Joker and Todd Phillips deserve it. They feel that Joker is a problematic movie. Just all these ridiculous, tired arguments we've been hearing. Uh, meanwhile, it keeps getting nominated and keeps winning awards. So I'm glad that the Academy and the general public and society are not listening to this noise. And they're recognizing quality when they see it. And I'm hoping that, you know, Joker wins a lot of these categories. Especially Best Actor, right? 
that's the one a lot of us are hoping for, that Joaquin Phoenix gets the best actor trophy. So fingers crossed. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.